It may not seem like it on a frigid day like today, but the growing season in the Midwest is getting a lot longer. And in the short term, that's a good thing. But the new federal report says the Midwest will warm faster than any part of the country. The increases in heat waves and droughts will more than offset any benefits we get. Dr. Scott Hegethorn spent his time in this University of Toledo greenhouse researching how heat and drought stress our plants. And here's why everyone should tune in. Almost all of our food comes from plants or from animals that eat plants, about 95% globally. Ohio farmers may still plant soybeans, but a soybean designed for places like Mississippi. It doesn't take much of a heat wave or a drought to, to drop crop yield in a region, a whole state, by 20 and 30%. And, um, and then, then you're talking real money. Every year or Money is where Dr. Owner Sapsi comes in. He's an economist at UT, focusing on climate change and its real-world impact. We are responsible for climate change, and we have to do something very soon to prevent it. He said this will add up on the grocery bill following swings in food costs. That's not all. A warmer climate means less nutritious food, too. The concentration of protein and other nutrients in plant tissue goes down when you grow plants under high CO2. Another important impact of climate change is on the health of humans. And two of those health concerns in the Midwest, an increase in West Nile virus and in Lyme disease carrying ticks. At the University of Toledo, I'm meteorologist Ben Cathy, 13ABC Action News.